In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about SDS page or sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Now, this is a very very important technique for molecular biologists and also biochemists to determine uh, to separate out proteins from a mixture according to their molecular weight. Okay, so there are different types of chemicals which are important uh, to make this gel, which is uh, the matrix through which the protein mixture will run and they will be separated. Now let us talk about each of these players and let's move. Now here polyacrylamide or agarose gel can be done. Now in this case of protein separation, we usually use polyacrylamide gel. Now this polyacrylamide gel as the name suggests is made up with acrylamides. Acrylamides will come together to head, uh, to head fashion. They will join to each other to produce this polymer of acrylamide. Now we also need high voltage power supply uh, like 0.1 to 6 kilovolt power supply for separation of uh, small size proteins. Okay. And also different detection techniques usually utilizing dye staining, fluorescence or autoradiography or imaging techniques can be used. Sometimes also the blotting techniques can be used for uh, exact notification. Now let's move on and talk about uh, the gel preparation then we will talk about the running of the gel and the importance of this gel components and what uh, what are the function of all these gel components and how the protein is actually being separated. Now let's talk about the gel preparation. Now here we can see there are multiple sample wells are there and the matrix through which the protein will run is made up with polyacrylamide and a uh, gel holder must be there to hold all these structures together. Now, in a, any kind of gel preparation in biological system, we must use uh, some chemical product which is uh, in previous time is not solid, solid right? So, it's a liquid uh, system. So, we add all these polyacrylamide uh, uh, chemicals and all these different recipes to make this gel. So, we add all those chemicals together, we stir them together, we heat them, and in this case, we don't have to heat, but in case of agarose gel, we have to heat. Now, we mix all those things together and then we add the polymerization agent. Now in case of this polyacrylamide gel, we add the uh, polymering agent. Now this polymer uh, polymerizing agent will help to bind all those monomers together to make this polymer. Now why we at all need the polymer instead of monomers? Because these polymers are producing the matrix through which the protein can run. So it's a gel like structure which is having small holes in between them through which the protein can run. Now according to their shape and size and the molecular weight obviously of the protein molecules they can be separated. Now according to our basic knowledge that small protein molecules will travel faster or further distance from the loading well that means this further distance and shorter proteins will travel less distance from the well. Okay now let's zoom again. Now prepared samples uh, which is uh, here you can see here the prepared samples are pipetted into each wells and uh, standards with uh, known proteins or dissociated protein subunits. Now we, why we need these known proteins because we need to know the molecular weight of the protein and we can determine it once only we can load the known protein which is called the protein ladder. Now the electrodes are important now electrodes are already assembled. Uh, into the holder above and below we can see here in this case below and above so uh, proteins in this case will move from negative end towards the positive end why because we add this SDS right sodium dodecyl sulfate now this sodium dodecyl sulfate will make all the proteins charge into a negative one okay so generally what happens proteins could be made up with uh, positive charged amino acids they could be made up with negative charged amino acids but once we add sodium dodecyl sulfate it converts all those proteins into negative charged one so those proteins will have the affinity towards the positive charged electrode and they will go to, towards the positive charged electrode right so here uh, from the negative towards the positive the migration happens okay in the same case uh, in case of dna or agarose gel you can also see because in those cases we do not generally not need uh, of adding any kind of negative uh, conversion agent because DNA is itself a negative charge molecule. So now let's move on again. Now here uh, we can see, yeah. Now the samples are loaded and the voltage is on. Now when we all, when we make this voltage on, protein will start to separate from here. So we give the voltage with the right voltage for the separation and protein molecules will start separating them. 
Now what happens in the very first situation, this proteins band uh, cannot be seen in this way. Uh, we add, uh, generally we add a dye onto them and those dye we can visualize the protein moving but not individual proteins uh, like in this picture. So once uh, the protein loading and uh, running is completed, we need to take out the sheet of this polyacrylamide gel and we need to take them and put them into the staining solution which is consisting of uh, dyes. Now those dye will uh, make this protein change in color and you can determine the presence of the proteins in different location in this sheet. Okay, now band's identification is made easy comparison of its position on the gel with that of known band in the nearby strands and lanes. Now here in this picture you can see these are suppose all are the samples and we can find standards in both the ends. Now these standards are also called the protein ladders. According to these protein ladders the presence of proteins can be determined. Now you can see here is a protein ladder present and we know the molecular weight of this protein ladder. Now here is the protein of our unknown desire. Now this protein corresponds to the same area or belongs to the same area like this ladder protein. So we can say that this protein is having the molecular weight of that of the standard, right? But you cannot say that both of the proteins are the same because proteins uh, can have the same molecular weights but have, they could be different, right? So for uh, resolving those types of proteins which are having the same molecular weight, we cannot resolve them using this uh, SDS page. We, we need to uh, take another important step uh, for, uh, yeah, for, for separating those proteins with each other with the help of the isoelectric point of the protein. Now it is, it is very very rare for two proteins to have same molecular weight and same isoelectric point. So we can utilize both of these features of protein to separate out them uh, if they have same molecular weight. Okay, and using the technique called two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. Now two-dimensional SDS page is op operated in the similar way but just depending upon the two parameters. One is the molecular weight in uh, like this case and another one is uh, the isoelectric point or isoelectric point. Okay, so that's how the gel runs uh, and uh, in this animation one thing we cannot mention in this case we haven't mentioned yet that is the role of uh, each individual uh, chemicals that are present in the SDS page. Now due to the preparation or during the preparation of this SDS page we must add sodium dodicyl sulphate and polyacrylamide gel right. Now sodium dodicyl sulphate is a detergent the first thing it does is, uh, is it uh, breaks all the proteins apart because what can happen suppose we are having a very long chain protein uh, sequence and we have a short chain protein sequence now what happens suppose one is uh, one uh, suppose one is having 160 amino acids another one is having 120 amino acids now they are folded in such a way that their shape and size uh, looks almost similar so it would be very very difficult to separate them out so for uh, to avoid this kind of problems we add sodium dodicyl sulfate now the first thing sodium dodicyl sulfate does is it breaks down all of this tertiary and quaternary structure of the proteins into the linear form or the primary structure of the protein now, it is very very important in the very first place during this gel electrophoresis of protein now once we prepared those single stranded proteins all the proteins are sorted out according to their amino acid length as well as uh, their molecular weight right now they are ready to ready to run in the gel now the second thing or important thing in this case we must provide uh, some some charge that can uh, can, can be utilized to separate the proteins using electrodes the same effect can be provided by SDS so SDS is a very very important uh, in this case it is not only uh, breaking the structure quaternary tertiary structure of the protein to produce linear proteins but also it is uh, adding it is uh, it is adding the negative charge to all those proteins so now those protein strands or the protein uh, polymers can move from negative towards a positive electron that's a very very important part about the SDS now the second thing is the B-sacralamide which is another important thing that that are added here now B-sacralamides are two acrylamide monomers are attached by head-on collision with each other now this B-sacralamide in this case can act as a beautiful uh, polymerizing agent now monomers are uh, acrylamides. Now acrylamides uh, with the help of B acrylamide, uh, two acrylamide monomers can be uh, bring closer and they can form the polymer of acrylamide which is eventually the matrix for running of those proteins. Now for making this kind of polymerization, they need the access of free radicals. 
so we need to provide them sufficient amount of free radicals and that means we need the free radical donor and we also need uh, the free radical source now in this case the free radical donor and acceptor is another chemical molecule it is called the temet or t e m e e d temet okay and another import uh, another chemical which is acting as the uh, source of this uh, free radical is called the aps or ammonium persulfate Okay, so ammonium persulfate is giving the radicals and temet on the other hand is accepting those radicals and donating those radicals to this bisacrylamide and acrylamide to make them complex with each other to produce this matrix of uh, acrylamide or polyacrylamide through which the protein can run. Okay, so these are the important parts and another important question that must come in your mind is that uh, the, what, what is the importance of using buffers right so buffers are important otherwise uh, in, in, in this case of electrophoresis where uh, proteins are moving from negative towards the positive ends we must have the excess of buffer we can't run it under the water because water contains hydrogen and hydroxyl ions which are uh, imbalanced sometimes and it must contain any other types of chemical molecules so we don't need those ions uh, to hamper our protein separation so you need to provide them the sufficient types of buffer now what kind of buffer we can give them we can actually give them uh, so let, let, let us begin it okay we can uh, provide them uh, let us uh, go to the player second okay. we can provide them uh, the tris glycine buffer now this tris glycine buffer is made up with tris hcl as well as the glycine amino acid now tris hcl is very very important because the chlorine ion is a very very negative charged ion so it will move very very faster towards the positive end right so in any kind of system in any kind of separation system chloric chloride ion will go faster then the small protein molecules then large protein molecules and then the other type of ions right so chloride will go very very faster in this case okay now uh, why we need uh, this glycine now glycine is required for shuffling of proteins now what we mean by the shuffling of proteins uh, let us uh, let us talk about the shuffling of proteins in a bit so i must pause the video here because i need to draw some structures i can't draw here so let us pause some time and then we'll begin again Sorry. 